Code Signal Arcade Introduction number 24, uh, Minesweeper. We know the game of Minesweeper, but we don't need to play the game or write an algorithm for it, we just need to create a grid that for each element it will show how many neighbors it has that are actually mines. So a very basic implementation, and I'll actually use a little snippet from previous task for like this, and I will explain what this is in a minute. Okay, we have the resulting vector of integers, which is going to have a size very pretty much equal to the size of the matrix itself. Matrix zero at size, and all of them are zero. Okay. So we just for each element we just need to like cal uh, run over all the possible eight neighbors because some of them might not have eight neighbors uh, specifically the ones on which are on the border and calc and simply calculate the number of mines they have simple implementation but sometimes it gets tricky for example here when you miss this this kind of stuff okay so, now, what those two arrays are, px and py, those are the ways of obtaining all of the neighbors for any given x and y coordinate by adding the two corresponding numbers from the array. For example, the minus one zero will move us one cell up, which means decrease the row by one and don't change the column. And the or ordering is done taking all the neighbors clockwise. The first one shows the one which are which is on the top, the second one which is on the top right. As you can see, top right means one less row, but one more column. And then we have the one on the right, which means the row doesn't change, but the column gets increased by one, and so on, until the last element is this one on the top left, which means one less row and one less column. Okay, so we need to obtain all of the neighbors. Oops. And say that those are our new code. Let's call it a new i. Well, x's and y's and i's and j's are kind of confusing, but they're still doable. Plus PXI, PY. It's all the challenge of not messing up the English alphabet. Okay. Uh, th this, uh, those are going to be the coordinates of the potential neighbors that the coordinate IJ is going to have. And we need to check whether it is a mine or not, but before actually doing that we need to check that whether if it's a valid coordinate or not, because we can cross the border like this easily. So, and in the same way, the J is non-negative, which means we didn't cross the border on the left, and also it is, it is smaller than the, than the size of the matrix 0, which means the column size, then it is definitely a valid coordinate, and if this cell contains a mine, well, simply increase the result value. Okay, three nested loops and one one if. Yeah, never write a code like this. But anyway, we want just to get this solved, right? Return. Oops. Result. Okay. Let's see. Okay, and if we submit it, and we're done. Thanks for watching, and you can find the link to this in the descri description box.